I'm about to get ready to go to the beach uh, in the hunt for amber. I'm surrounded by water and I've been most of my life. I've been sailing and yeah. I have never found a single piece of amber. And everybody I know living around this area is finding amber and fossils and everything. I don't find anything. So now I'm on the hunt for amber and I will produce a, a pen uh, made from amber and resin. So stay tuned. So as you can see, it's still dark outside. And, uh, but it's morning and I'm hoping to get to the beach before it gets too bright. So I'm bringing a, a UV light. Yeah, let's see what happens. So as you can see, and hopefully you can hear me, it's quite stormy out here. Um, it's not the best condition to finding amber, as I was told, but well, I will give it a try. I have my black light and I have a little thing to pick it up and it's it's damn cold. So yeah, well, wish me luck. So, the problem with this beach, my local beach is that it's so flat and sandy. It's, Amazing when you have to go for a swim, but there's no rubble here, so all the small pieces of amber is getting washed back into sea, so to speak. So, but well, I'll keep searching. I have found some small pieces already, very small, but it should be enough. So, <clears throat> that's it for me for now. This is simply just too cold. I wasn't dressed properly for the occasion and too much wind, too little rubble, and well, wet feet. Whoa, that was a cold one. Let me tell you that. Um, well, I've gotten home. I've been back in the workshop, and I have uh, well, didn't find that much. So what I did was I took a piece of wood, and I took my small pieces of amber, and I made some resin and uh, turn into this little piece. And this is going to be a pen. Or, yeah, a sort of a pen. So, stay tuned. Demon bear, I will not make myself bitter. Loses the voice now. So now that I have drilled and put in a brass tube and all, I'm gonna put in these small bushings beside direction, like this. And the big bushing on this end, which means that the end with the amber inside is going to be the thick end of the pen. Mm. Yeah, and then I have this homemade thing. It's a piece of an old pen which didn't work out as planned but it's good for this. Tighten it.
I just use these paper towels. They are very soft and yeah, they're very good for this little job. Then I have this. I think it's called a magic sponge. It's for uh, cleaning melamine and yeah. So just to hold it, put it here, just to make sure this is. Some more C8 glue. Seven or eight layers should do it. Last layer. I'm going to polish it with this, these sponges, give it some more speed, and again, fast movements, not to burn them. As you can see here, it's burnt.
slowly getting there, getting more and more shiny. Let's see, once we're done, if it's good. I have tried that this resin has gone soft while polishing it. And that gave me a bit of rough surface. And that's not desirable. Well, this one seems to work, but it is getting hotter, of course, because I'm polishing on it. But it's very shiny now. Let's stop the engine and see what's happening here. Yeah, nothing is boiling, nothing is getting roughed up. Beautiful, a little more. And these small breaks I do, like buff, break, buff, break, buff, break. It's very important not to get this surface too hot. And that's enough. Just do this, these small breaks. Oh my God, this is getting beautiful. The wood and amber pen, can't believe it. Found the amber myself, picked it up in a little storm on the beach, made the resin. And yeah, it's so beautiful. Just take the camera, you can see. Look at that. Beautiful. Now the time have come to take these things apart. and start the assembly of the pen. on the floor every time so I'll put in these nylon things pressure winter raven things fly for me demon bird I will not make myself the And as usual, I will start by fitting the pointy end of the pen. And it's always a little fiddling. It's not that easy. Not for me at least. See? There we are. Beautiful. Check this a little further away than the inner section of the pen goes here. And this is always a little tricky for me with this type of pen because it has to go, you know, normally in a in a long pen, in a normal style pen. There's a little line, I don't know if you can see it here. A little line here, which usually means stop. But not in this one. We can actually just keep going. Mm -hmm. 
she does it. Here she does it. So what I like to do is to take the ink cartridge itself and measure. A little more, I think. Maybe around here. Just twist it in. Yes, beautiful. Beautiful. I'll take the rest of the pen and slide it on gently. <laughs> Beautiful. And the grand finale, the necklace that goes in here with a magnet. So, yet another necklace pin. I think it turned out beautiful. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel. It's so giving to see that I can amuse you or just following me, but well, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching.